Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on putting down Goyo shields. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the penthouse on coastline. Probably the most popular objective on this freaking map. I don't know, I think it is. But uh, penthouse is an objective that I sort of do and sort of don't like putting Goyo shields on. I find that I like putting this stuff down kind of in the beginning when the enemies don't know what my strategies are. This was taken from a live stream that I did uh, early in the morning. So uh, I'm pretty tired, but you'll see, you'll see. And I kind of echo, if you watch the YouTuber Get Flanked, he's like one of my favorite Siege YouTubers ever. Uh, he, he says, <clears throat> Yana is good because late game information, right? So if there's like 30 seconds left, you probably used your drone you use her to find you find information. Oryx makes it good so that you have to pick between putting claymores on hatches and putting claymores on doors. And you have to worry about hatch flanks. Is it taller than the couch? Whether or not it is plays a drastic role. So it's taller than the couch. Now this is gonna be a tricky one because this room can be entered from there, from there, and from there. And all these walls are most likely gonna be soft. What I do usually do is I do put a Goyo shield uh, under this hatch. So they can't land on it, but you can still shoot it. I like that Goyo shield. I usually put one right here for a variety of reasons. Uh, you can shoot it from there, so I'm gonna back it up. Just put it right here. Can you hit that? No. Can you hit it from here though? Yeah. I like a shield right there because it intimidates them in this area. The only problem is the person right here can shoot it. But my thing about that. For, well, first it can get shot through. I wouldn't use Goyo on this objective anyways because it's just too too much for him. The thing about a shield right here though, so we have the shield back here, that's pretty good. This shield, what's nice about this shield is if you're stuck back here, you can shoot it and then start really pressuring them like this and be fine. If you got really ballsy, you could do this. Um, okay, usually there's sometimes a mirror here. So I almost wanna say, as much as I don't like putting them on doorways, having something here has always, to me, seemed like the right play to do. Just because I feel like, and this is just me kind of with my ideas, Maverick would be really powerful because he's got these angles. Duh. I mean, I guess I could put one right here. Hmm. A shield right here that's a Goyo shield can be very powerful. Because I can... Oh. Is this bulletproof? Okay, that's bulletproof. If you're really accurate... I mean, if you're really accurate, go for that. But, you know, uh, so I'm going to angle this a little bit. I mean... It's so simple, but it gets rid of this. No, we're doing this. So that you can see down the hallway like that. The only downside is if you're here and someone's down there, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> All right, so this is our shield setup. This is about the best I can pull off here. Um, I don't like it because well, I like this shield. I think this shield's probably the strongest one. Because you have to waste utility or risk getting shot on fire. I did not sleep well last night. Dude, uh, this shield's really good for control of this area. Downside is if they plant here, they're going to shoot that. And then there's this guy. To spy on them, and if they decide to enter, you can shoot it. If they breach that wall, that's also going to go off. I forgot to mention that. And if it's soft, it gives you a nice hole. 
Um. Oh wow, that covers more area than I thought it did. So it doesn't cover that, I knew that, but I didn't know it actually covered the door all the way. <clears throat> Very convenient. Oh, it does put a hole there. And then this guy, I usually just aim about the center thing. There we go. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I do need to move it more. Because it only went like this. Maybe I do. So yeah, that was my Goyo Shield placements. I did end up using these, and they kind of worked, kind of didn't. Uh, my aim that game was not the best, so I really didn't get to test them out hardcore. But overall, I say I found some pretty decent spots. Uh, hopefully no one figures out how to shoot them through the floor. That would suck. But uh, if you guys want to see me do this, I stream every day in the mornings, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next one.